Hello guys, welcome back. Today is Thursday. And we are just here with Mr. Franco. Hi, handsome. He is eating some yogis. He freaking loves these. Get it, mas? Muy bien. Here you go, mister. I actually put these in the Yuga app and they got a good rating for babies. So I give him those and he absolutely freaking loves them. But as you guys can tell, he got a haircut. Mr. Franco got a haircut, his first haircut. And if you want to watch that, you can see it on JJ Vlogs. It is so cute. We love it. And por acá tenemos a mi mamá. ¿Qué mamá? Haciendo un pollito para Franco, para que coma y lentejas. Lentejitas. Lentejas y pollo. There's some banana bread um, muffins that my mom made yesterday too. Te tienen bien consentido, pa. I'm currently doing some laundry. So the days that my mom is here, we try to really take advantage of all the work that we have to do. And honestly, some weeks are different than others. Some weeks only comes Monday and Tuesday, sometimes uh, Wednesday. And then some weeks we are so full that she comes Monday through Friday. And that was this week. So she's been here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And today, Thursday, she will have a tomorrow off. And then, yeah, so it was a, it's been a crazy week for us, which we're so thankful for, like, to have all of this work, honestly. But we have been up since freaking 7. Um, I have to update you guys on so much, but I need to put my clothes in the dryer. On our last J&J vlogs, I literally said that I had stopped breastfeeding. And ask me. Con cuidado. I, I told you guys I had stopped breastfeeding and although I did stop for six days, um, I ended up going back on it because it hit me like a truck. Honestly, I need to make a whole video about my breastfeeding journey because I thought that it had started pretty rough, but stopping has probably been the craziest, worst thing that I've ever done. So, um, I'm kind of back breastfeeding not really like he only nurses for comfort because my milk supply is like non-existent at this point i think I, he gets like a couple drops out of it but he has been eating so much freaking food and he's still not on milk he doesn't like ripple he doesn't like almond milk vanilla almond milk um oat milk freaking there's regular milk lactate milk needle there's so much hold on I have tried every single milk that there is, and I have also tried sippy cups, straw cups, bottles, all types of bottles. Um, I actually just recently got a recommendation. I saw Wendy uploaded this Evenflow bottle, I think. Um, that would be my last resort, but I don't think I'm going to even try it anymore. He's eating calcium, getting vitamin D, getting all the the nutrients that he normally would from milk from other food so it hasn't been hard on that he has been eating solid since he was six months old i started baby led weaning literally that's the day that he turned six months old so that's not really my concern i guess i would have i just felt like it would have been so much easier for me to stop breastfeeding if i knew that he was getting milk and like comfort from sucking on a bottle but he's too smart for that honestly and it's a good and a bad thing i guess because i would have had to wean him off the bottle which i heard is really hard too so you know i pick and choose my battles and my battle was that i have to be very very adamant about how he gets his all the nutrients and vitamins he would normally get from milk um through all of his other foods so <sighs> so much so much to update you guys on but yeah let me hang this up here they are guys my mom's done making them they look freaking bomb I'm gonna eat some because I'm hungry as well. Get his mask, Franco. No, a los niños todo les gusta. Dándoles. Kidika chopa le lenteja, Franco. Okay, we just had lunch, but Pika Pika sent me over Yoatsi's box and I got the chamoy, the candies and everything. And tell me why my son, of course he's my son, he freaking likes it. ¿Quieres más? ¿Más? ¿Más? <laughs> 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 
Franco. ¿No te enchila? Hijo de mi vida. ¿Te gusta el chile? ¿Sí le gusta? ¿Te gusta? ¿Qué? Anyways, it's good that he likes all the flavors, you know. It expands his palate, but it's crazy as well. Bring my mom off at school. Bye, mom. Bye. She came to parent-teacher conferences with my Nos sister, vemos. so it is 3 p.m. She's Bye, done. Bye. She's done for the day, and now we ho we go home and continue with our little routine. Back home, and Dorothy and I just played with Franco for like 30 minutes. Now it is almost time for him to go down for his nap, and. Jonathan is going to put him down while I get ready to go to my sculpt yoga class. My class is at 5.30 and it's currently 4.32. It's kind of a long way to get there. And also, I like to get there early because I like to get the spot right in front of the mirror. Because it makes me, it like motivates me and it makes me check my form. Um, so yeah, I really like to get there as early as possible because these classes tend to get really full really fast. So let's change. I'm going to change into a supportive sports bra and some leggings. Okay, I ended up going with this story set. It is so cute. It has like little white detailing and the white detailing on the leggings makes it look like you have a booty. It like it gives you a booty pop, which I don't have one right now. So it's really helping me out, girl. But my outfit is good. It's funny because I actually... I break a really good sweat in there, so I'm just kind of bringing myself to life because it is late in the afternoon and I'm used to working out in the morning. The only reason I'm going this late is because it's sculpt yoga is usually in the afternoons. Monday's at like 5.30 a.m., which is too early for me. Tuesday, I went at 4.30. Yesterday, I went at noon. And today, I'm going right now at 5.30. So the sculpt classes are usually kind of scattered around that like that. Um, I'm not really sure why. So it's hard to get in there early, but I get in there regardless because sculpt is honestly the best thing to ever happen to me, ever. It has been a little bit warm here in Colorado, but today, it's cold again so i have to put something over i think another thing i really love about yoga is that you do it barefoot so you don't you don't have to worry about what shoes you wear or anything like that let's head out i'm so excited i made it out i have my apple watch i have some pecans i'm gonna snack on and also again since it's so late in the afternoon I have an Alani new. I'm gonna drink just half of this just so I can get a little bit of energy going in me. And of course, I can't be that girl without my Stanley, so I have that. And good news, I actually committed yesterday and I bought a yoga mat at my yoga place. So I got this cute Lululemon yoga mat that I'm gonna try out for the first time today. So let's head out. I'm gonna put a podcast on and then listen to it on my way to we made it to class i cannot believe how dark it's already getting it's gonna be so dark when i get out i'm just not used to coming to the gym this late but no pasa nada we're here i'm 20 minutes early which is perfect hopefully i get a really good spot um and so i can set up my yoga mat and everything so i made it out i actually asked if i could record today and they said no it's not allowed which is understandable i just wanted to make sure before i got yelled at or something in there because that would be very embarrassing but literally every single time i come i'm like yeah it's gonna get easier i've been coming for so many times and i am humbled every time girls so i had a really good workout it is 6 30 i'm gonna head home to my bubs get some dinner in some protein <sighs> and catch my breath girl made it home franco woke up from his nap at 6 12 and it's 7 already so he woke he took a two hour nap which is good um but now i'm gonna heat up some dinner have chicken breast some lentil soup and I'm probably gonna have a protein shake to end my night for my sweet tooth bite, you know? I'm having my dinner now and Franco joined me for some lentil soup. Quieres mas? Quieres mas? Si? Mmm, <laughs> that's so yummy. Hmm. Mas? I'm eating chicken with buffalo sauce. Muy bien. Agua. Muy bien, chocala. Oh, bravo. Besito.
Thank you, thank you. Ok, vamos a darte agua. Frank goes down for bed. It is 9.49. I just showered. I don't wash my hair, obviously. But now I'm going to have dessert. I cannot go to sleep without dessert. I was going to do a protein shake, but I figured that's too heavy. Just kidding. I really just wanted to have this. These are from at Trader Joe's. Alright, I'm going to have this. Go to bed, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys, after a long work week, it is Friday, it's 10 a.m. and my mom is resting today. I'm just freshening up, but as I explained yesterday, we had a lot of things to do this week for work. And today I have one more thing that I have to film, edit, and turn in um, to my managers. But I can actually get that done while Franco naps. So right now, um, we just got back from a walk. We actually went to watch Jonathan train and run with the dogs um, at the park. And now Jonathan is putting Franco down for a nap. His first nap of the day is usually always at 10, 10, 15, latest 10, 30. He usually goes for an hour or two. So depending on how long, I'm going to try to get everything done in an hour. But since I am going to be filming something, I have to... I do have to look presentable, so I'm just going to do my everyday light makeup routine. I have really been loving the light makeup looks recently just because I definitely feel like as I get older, I want to look obviously more youthful. So I have really been trying the less is more approach on makeup. So I kind of just do a little bit of concealer. So I did want to update you guys on my natural family planning because I just think our bodies are phenomenal and crazy at the same time like you literally can go through childbirth and then be walking the next day you know like that is crazy but um with that comes natural family planning which as you guys know it's just basically tracking your cycle and making sure you're not having unprotected intercourse when you are fertile like on your fertile days i have been tracking my cycle since october so i remember telling jonathan and my mom i was like if i'm not pregnant in december this tracking your whole cycle natural family planning works and thankfully i mean knock on wood literally i'm not pregnant yet so it's just concrete evidence that our bodies are amazing and if we truly listen to them and track them then we're gonna be successful right now i'm actually about to ovulate i either ov ovulate today or tomorrow and it's so funny because I was this might be a little bit TMI. I'm opening up a little bit too much right now, girl. But as for Jonathan, it's crazy how your body is literally made to have babies. You know, like you're put on this world to create beautiful beings um, whenever you're ready, if you want it. And I was like, it's so crazy to me that when I'm about to ovulate, when I'm like my most fertile during my fertile window. I'm obviously, my libido is really high, you know, so it is crazy um, how you have to basically not restrain yourself, but practice um, safe intimacy, if you will. The one and only thing I don't like about my fertile window is how bloated I get because right on the day that I ovulate, I obviously get really bloated and I also get a lot of cramps. So right now, I'm not cramping or bloated, so that just leads me to believe that I'm ovulating tomorrow, which sucks because we're going to Raila tomorrow. We're going to the Valentine's Day dance, Chihuahua Fest here in Colorado. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. Bien Morena, Crisal Cosmetics. If you don't own this palette, what are you doing, girl? Like, honestly, what are you doing? Bien Morena is the best thing to ever happen to me. I think that I've had, I've been using it for like four years already. Is it four years or three? I think four. And it is unbelievable. Like, unbelievable. Every time I travel, I try to pack light with my makeup because I already don't know how to do my makeup that much. I'm not a makeup artist or whatever. So, when I pack this, I have my blush, my highlight, my contour, my bronzer, everything in one that I don't have to pack a cream bronzer, a cream contour, a cream blush. Like, I already have it all in my bit more you know? It's not sponsored. My favorite way to do my eyebrows naturally or whatever, um, I like to go in with the Anastasia brow products. See, like it just gives it a little bit of color. Okay, after I add a little bit of color, then I go in with the clear brow gel and really set them in place. My last step is mascara. 
On the days where I'm not doing much, I don't want mascara because I don't think there's anything I hate more than taking mascara off at night. But since today I am filming for Instagram, I'm going to do mascara. Okay, the last step is just the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and I just put the tiniest bit to kind of, to really like emphasize my lips. That is it. That is my makeup girl. And we're ready to go. Got my matcha. Franco is asleep. I need to do something to this hair girl. It's, she's a little... Today's wash day. Today is wash day, so I have to obviously wash my hair today. But I think it looks pretty good for some Instagram content. Yeah, I think she looks kind of put together in a bit, in a way. Um, I'm excited to wash my hair though tonight because then tomorrow is the baile and we're going out. And of course, I'm filming a vlog for you guys tomorrow, I think. No, I mean, actually doing my makeup. I'm not doing my own makeup tomorrow, so. Let's do a Walmart haul. Let's do a Walmart haul. Okay, I finished filming everything. I also got to edit everything and I sent it over to my manager. So now I'm going to get breakfast ready. It is 11 and I managed to get everything done before Franco woke up. So that is always a freaking plus. My hair is starting to get a little bit greasy and I know for a fact that I have dry shampoo like this. This is gone. But I know I have a refill, I just cannot, for the life of me, remember where the heck I left it. So, I have to put my hair up. And this postpartum hair loss, hair growth, it's not cutting in. But let's go cook up some breakfast and try not to wake up Franco. Don't no. Okay, I made breakfast time. I unlocked the code. What? Cheesy scrambled eggs. Cheesy? Franco doesn't really eat eggs. He only likes the yolk. And so today I was like, you know, I'm just gonna try cheesy scrambled eggs. He loves quesadillas. Loves quesadillas. And I think I cracked the freaking code. He is eating cheesy scrambled eggs. <laughs> he liked him. Yeah. Are you doing for him? For him. Oh, yeah. Babe, this is on. He's finishing them, babe. The so whole bowl. Huh? That was also a workout for him. You think so? Ah, uh,
Hello guys, I made it back home so today was kind of a, I don't know, like when you hang out with your mom is it ever a rant kind of day where she's just like venting to you, ranting about life? So I didn't really pick up the camera and like put it in her face because I know she needed to talk to me, you know? So I got home and it's viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. Anyways, we just got ready. Franco and I are matching. My Toxic trade that I always want to match with Franco, but he's wearing this little leggings with a little Mickey pullover. I'm wearing a sweater from H&M, and I have my ripped jeans from American Eagle, some Converse, and we're ready to go. Jonathan has to buy a belt buckle, some boots, and I'm trying to look for some heels, so. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. We just made it home from shopping. Jonathan got his outfit. I think I have my outfit. My Lord's Boutique shipment just came in. So I have to give you guys a haul of everything that we have. And Franco, dile hola. Dile hola. He just finished eating a very late dinner. It is 7.30. I hate when we mess up his routine. But he just ate some lentils from yesterday. Yeah. And now Jonathan is getting his bath ready so we can shower him and put him straight to sleep because he has missed his routine today and it sucks. So he's a little bit fuzzy. Vamos a bañarte? Sí. Franco's down for bed. You can't really see him, but he's in there. On our way home from the mall, we stopped at Boss Lady Pizza. If you know, you know, mac and cheese pizza is my favorite thing on planet earth i'm not gonna lie it's perfect and i love it and i'm having a coke to end my night because girl having a baby going through a leap a sleep regression separation anxiety i just have this i'm so excited i ordered this on tuesday i think and it got here today i'm so excited about this this is the kimberly boyfriend jacket i saw him wearing this in new york and i was like absolutely need it it's perfect i got it in a size large and then i got the cali jumpsuit in black cute hopefully it fits the outfit that I made in my head. And then I just bought this bra and this shapewear. So hopefully everything looks good tomorrow. But you guys will see that in tomorrow's vlog. For now, I'm going to see. I'm gonna order ice cream. I'm gonna order Dairy Queen because it's my favorite place closed already, which is sad. It's the Reese's Take Five Blizzard. Mm. Delicioso. Babe, you don't want anything? No, no. Okay, anyways, I'm excited about these dresses, but you'll see those tomorrow. I am going to wait for my ice cream, wind down a little bit, watch YouTube, TikTok, catch up, and then I'm going to go upstairs and shower. I don't know if I'm going to wash my hair now or if I'm going to go to yoga tomorrow. There's a lot I need to think about, but I'll let you know. Hey. 